Hello YouTubers, this is Sesame Ace, back again with another video. For those of you who have been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll no doubt be aware of the fact that I worked for 27 years as an operations engineer in television. I worked for three local television stations over that 27 year period. Fresh out of college, I started working at Channel 17. Uh, no, I can't remember the call letters because they've changed so many times I lost track. But when I started there, they were the ABC affiliate. And while I was there, they became the NBC affiliate. After two years there, I moved down the street to WAWS, Channel 30, Jacksonville. They were an independent when I started working there and for the first couple of years. And then when the Fox Network came into being, they were signed on with Fox from day one. And yes, I was working Master Control the night Fox signed on. So I ran the first Fox show. And I well remember what it was. Married with children. After five years there, I moved to WTLV TV 12, which at the time was the ABC affiliate. And then they switched to NBC. Sense of pattern here. Of all of the commercial television stations in Jacksonville, only one has never changed network affiliations. I'm not talking about the PBS stations because they're non-commercial. But the commercial stations, only one, has never changed network affiliations, and that would be WAWS, Channel 30. They started with Fox, and they're still with Fox. And in fact, the parent company that owns Channel 30 bought Channel 47, which for the longest time was an independent, and then they signed on to the UPN network, and now they're the CBS affiliate. And they also own Digital Channel 32, which is the MyTV affiliate. MyTV is owned by Fox. Anyway, I kind of got a reputation for being interested in promotional material. And so periodically the heads of these various television stations promotion departments would come by Master Control or Tech Center wherever I was working that day. And that's, I'm clearing out my office. You interested in any of this? And I always jumped at it. That's how I got a hold of an original 1966 press kit for Star Trek. But that's not what this video is about. This is for something I forgot I had, in fact. This is a uh, star album, 1964-65, Souvenir Guide to Television's Finest Schedule of Entertainment, News, Information, and Sports. This was handed out to representatives of the network affiliates for NBC back in 64. Pretty cool for something I didn't remember having. Here's Walt Disney. Now they have uh, this divided up by day parts and also shows. Bill Dana, he kind of looks like Red Skelton and Lauren Green from Danza. Sticking with Bonanza. Bonanza was a highly rated show and in fact sold a lot of color television sets. At the time, NBC was owned by RCA. What did RCA make? Television sets. Color television sets. Sticking with uh, Bonanza and then Rogues. 
which is a show I have absolutely no memory of. Of course, in 64, 65, I was 6 to 7. Sticking with the rogues. Again, the rogues. Okay, the Monday schedule, or if I were in England, schedule. 7.30, 90 Bristol Court. It's a 90-minute show. It was. 9 o'clock, Andy Williams show. 7 o'clock, the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. And a newcomer this TV season, Debbie Watson in 90 Bristol Court. I have no memory of that series whatsoever. So it must not have lasted too long. Two more pages devoted to that show. Okay. 90 Bristol Court and on the next page, Harris Against the World. Tuesday schedule. Mr. Novak at 7.30. The Man from Uncle at 8.30. That was the week that was on night at 9.30. Bell Telephone Hour at 10. James Franciscus. I believe he was in Beneath the Planet of the Apes. The astronaut that went looking for Charlton Hesse. That was the week that was in the Bell Telephone Hour. Well, it looks like it might be some kind of satire show or current events show similar to the British series. I have I got news for you. Wednesday, 7.30, The Virginian, 9 o'clock, Wednesday night at the movies. That one lower right looks like Tony Curtis. It is Tony Curtis. Playing Houdini. The Thursday night schedule. 7.30 Daniel Boone. 8.30 Dr. Kildare. 9.30 Hazel. I remember Hazel because it was in reruns for several years. 10 o'clock Craft Suspense Theater. As back then, sponsors had their name in the show a lot of the times. Daniel Boone.
there is um, Shirley Booth. She played Mrs. Claus in one of the Rankin and Bass uh, stop motion animated specials. I don't remember which one though. Hazel. Perry Como. Jack Benning. He, both he and uh, Eddie Rochester Anderson had cameos in It's a Mad 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 World, but not in the same scene. Uh, the one and only Jack Carr. He hosted The Tonight Show and infamously uh, refused to go on after they censored one of his jokes. And uh, the network had nowhere to go. Okay, Saturday, 7.30, Flipper, which I saw dubbed into German on German television when we lived there. 8 o'clock, The Famous Adventures of Mr. Magoo, which I have on a box set and DVD. Uh, 8.30, Kentucky Jones, 9 o'clock, Saturday night at the movies. They call him Flipper, 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 faster than lightning. That show seemed like it was in syndication rerun, syndicated reruns for a long time. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of this. It would take all night, at least at the rate I'm going. At first, I thought that was the Flying Nun. The Hallmark Hall of Fame and Little Moon of Albin. There's NBC's logo when they would run a color show. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. I once saw a blooper reel that they had done. And when they said in living color, it went to black and white. Ha 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 ha. Annie Thomas and the one and only Jonathan Winters. He was in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. He had a major part. He was the original Robin Williams, if you don't know who Jonathan Winters is or was. And if you don't, shame on you. Sunday Daytime. That looks like the Macy's Day Parade to me. For the Youngsters, NBC's Children's Theater. Spelled the proper way. T-H-E-A-T-R-E, -E, not T-H-E-A-T-E-R, which is how I frequently see it spelled. Let's see, at 9.30 a.m., Hector Heathcote. 10 a.m., Underdog. We have those on DVD. Oh, and Jerry Anderson series at 10.30 a.m., Fireball XL5. 11 o'clock, Dennis the Menace. 11.30 a.m., Fury. 12 noon, Exploring. And then Watch Mr. Wizard.
not in focus, but it says fireball like so I have to say no, I wasn't making it up. Daytime, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Make room for daddy, 10.30, word for word, 11 a.m. Concentration, 11.30, Jeopardy, 12 noon, say when, 12.30 p.m. Truth or Consequences, 1.30 p.m. Make, let's make a deal, 2 p.m. Loretta Young show, no, the, the Loretta Young theater. 2.30, The Doctors, 3 o'clock, Another World, 3.30, You Don't Say, 4 o'clock, The Match Game, and uh, so on. The networks programmed a lot more of the daytime than they do now. And this is... Um, given some poignancy because this came out promoting the 64-65 season. John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 63 and uh, this is uh, promoting the upcoming drama series Profiles and Courage. And then the, the rest of it is all devoted to news and sports. Now is there news division. And I had a cat just talk to me. I know, girl. Okay, well, until next time. Stay awesome. Affiliations. I'm not talking about the PBS stations because they're non-commercial. But the commercial stations, only one, has never changed network affiliations, and that would be WAWS, Channel 30. They started with Fox, and they're still with Fox. And in fact, the parent company that owns Channel 30 bought Channel 47. Fresh out of college, I started working at Channel 17. Uh, no, I can't remember the call letters because they've changed so many times I lost track. But when I started there, they were the ABC affiliate. And while I was there, they became the NBC affiliate. After two years there, I moved down the street to WAWS, Channel 30, Jacksonville. Hello, YouTubers. This is Cessna Ace back again with another video. For those of you who have been watching my channel for any length of time, You'll no doubt be aware of the fact that I worked for 27 years as an operations engineer in television. I worked for three local television stations over that 27 year period, married with children. After five years there, I moved to WTLV TV 12, which at the time was the ABC affiliate, and then they switched to NBC. Sense of pattern here. Of all of the commercial television stations in Jacksonville, only one has never changed network. They were an independent when I started working there and for the first couple of years. And then when the Fox network came into being, they were signed on with Fox from day one. And yes, I was working master control the night Fox signed on. So I ran the first Fox show and I well remember what it was. 